Hey guys, Jim Essien, uh, lead pastor at the Paradox Church, talking about leading through change. In the last couple of years with COVID, uh, everything has changed uh, and leadership just in general is always leading through change. People change, the ministry changes. One author says that leadership requires disturbing people at a rate that they can absorb. But here's the really good news. Uh, we, we're always leading through change. The good news is that Jesus never changes. Uh, Jesus never changes. Your proximity to Jesus does not change. Doesn't matter how good of a leader you are or how bad you are. His love for you does not change. Uh, the gospel does not change. Uh, everything around you is changing, but Jesus does not change. The bad news is that you need to change. Uh, that you're not yet awesome. That you don't have all the uh, capabilities, abilities, gift sets, uh, experience to lead through the change that you need to lead through, whether that's uh, starting a new church or changing up a ministry or walking through a difficult, challenging situation, uh, leading people through change, you are not quite ready for that yet. Uh, you need to change. If there's anything you remember from this short video, it is this. Uh, God is more concerned with changing you, making you more like Jesus than you perfectly leading this next season of your ministry career. As good as you do or as bad as you do, if you are changed by Jesus, that is the win. But you want to be a good leader and so you want to change, you want to lead through change, consider just these uh, eight quick tips on what that looks like. One, become an expert. Read everything you can. Know everything you can about the thing that you're trying to lead through, change through, the ministry you're trying to do, whatever, it, become the expert. Two, consider the timing. Uh, is this the right time? This could be the best thing to do. You could be the best person for it. You could have a great team, but maybe the timing's wrong. Uh, so consider the timing. How should you lead through this? Uh, should you lead faster? Should you lead slower? Should you wait? Consider the timing. Three, consider uh, developing bite-sized practices. Can you do a case study? Uh, could you try it out? Could you try it one time? Create these kind of moments or projects or small practices uh, that you can get people bought in. You can kind of test case some of it uh, before you roll the whole thing out. Next, begin to communicate uh, the change. Uh, you've got to think about who am I going to communicate to? You have to cascade that communication. I got to tell my leaders, then I got to tell my team, then I got to tell the whole church or the whole ministry. Think about who you need to communicate to, think about what you need to communicate, knowing that you're communicating different things to different people, and then you've got to think about how you need to communicate. What are the mediums I'm going to use? Is it a talk? Is it a video? Is it a blog post? Uh, is it a, a meeting? How am I going to communicate this to my people? Fifth. Breathe life into this change. You as the leader are gonna to have to step in and do it. People are gonna follow you. They follow you, they don't follow ideas. So if you're changing something, step in there and you do it. Six, bring in your story, your narrative to this, this new thing. Now, why is this important to you? Why is this, uh, uh, why are you passionate about what you are trying to lead right now? How does this benefit you uh, as it's also benefiting your people? Seventh, have measurables. What are you going to try to measure? What does success look like? Write down the wins, the key deliverables, whatever it is, just how do you know that the change has been done and it was the right thing to do? And then lastly, shepherd people, don't overlook them. Uh, we just have a tendency, especially during new initiatives and changes and, and new things that we're trying to do as a as a leader we we use people to get things done instead of getting things done in order to benefit and love and shepherd the people shepherd people as you change uh, they need to change you need to change jesus doesn't change and that's the good news